Welcome back to the Corona Open, J-Bo. This is the last heat of the day, the second elimination heat for the women. We're going to be saying goodbye to one of these competitors, Silvana Lima, the veteran in the mix here at the moment, Kelly Andrew, who's made a return from injury, and Sage Erickson, who's had the call-up once again. There's been some injuries on the Women's Championship Tour this year. Coco Ho forced to withdraw. Opportunity once again to good effect. She's been successful in her first two efforts, taking a quarterfinal finish and a ninth place from the first two contests. And looking to get the quick start here. Grew up surfing on uh, a point break, Santa Barbara, so can definitely thread together some beautiful turns. Let's see what Silvana Lima can do. Driving into this section. Nice bit of whip off the top. Up into the lip, a little bit more vertical on that second effort. Rolling through to the inside. And now pacing herself for a big finish. Gets the fins free, throws that tail. Almost reeled it in. I think the surfing here, we see the replay. Driving, lots of speed. Snaps out of the top like a speed check into a vertical re-entry. Goes past the competitor, another one of those speed snaps out of the top. Just waiting for this wave to stand up and present and just goes all out on the inside. We'll see it here. Drives off the back foot. Gets the board up and above the lip pushes out and you can see that back arm fell back it needed to come forward to drive through that turn herself a nasty injury going for a big front side float down the line there Keely Andrew had this one just behind Keely, uh, Sil Silvana Lima sorry driving down that inside goes for a beautiful layback snap and just incredible it speaks volumes to how talented people are and how how good they are because you would imagine that injuries would happen way more often than they do, than they do but these guys are so talented they're able to manage that risk well sage doing well to really draw a, a big carve out right back into the bowl here on a wave that can get away from you and she stays out in front of it working this one over nicely making sure that she puts some effort into these transition turns as well doesn't get the finish right on the inside though and it was the exact same turn and the exact same problem as on that first ride at the end there silvana's uh bringing to the the party at the moment is speed is her priority she's using the the speed provided on the opening sections but then generating more speed to get bigger turns done on the inside yeah silvana lima ripping the top off this one just surfing with a, another level of speed to her rivals out here at the moment. Oh. And she's going to get the finish right on the inside here this time. Plants the floater. Bravo. That's one of the best ways we've seen surf today. As we look at this one, beautiful wrapping carve, and it had that John John-esque punctuation at the end where she just drove the fins and the tail right around, full completed arc into the inside, into that layback turn that was just... So aggressive, and then that beautiful clean floater to finish. Here we go. Look at this one, Ronnie. Drives off the bottom, flares the back arm out, lays it into the water, and just drives all the way around. Oh, I think this is that. Uh, this wave has got to go excellent in my mind. Absolutely has to. Back to live action. Killy Andrew up here at the moment. Floating down the line. Clean float. Has a lot of speed to use here, and wow. does well to get the tail above the lip. Looking for a big finish to stay on par, on track with Silvana there. Doesn't want anything to do with the end section. Well, you and I just, I think we both felt exactly the same thing there. We felt that the energy and the work had been done. It was so good. It was really on her way to a special number here. This combination was awesome. Love the way she read this section button. So much speed out of it. Floated so fast and used that speed to drive. And, and well out in front. That is sprightly. And here we go. Sage Erickson now loading up. Thinking about a barrel there for a moment. Has to get some big turns done. Nice hook off the top there. Has had trouble with the end section so far. And we'll try and make up for it now. Let's see the replay of the last wave here. Bowly little inside section. Just biding a tight. Snaps out of the top beautifully. Into another vertical re-entry into the lip. Comes around and really gives that one a nice snap as well. So good completed ride. Silvana on the outside, up once again for a moment. Still waiting on Keeley's numbers to drop. Her last ride was an impressive one. The 1-7 and 26 minutes particularly, you know, in 40-minute heats, a lot of time there for Keeley. Well, Silvana trying to get rid of a five here. Has really looked sharp in this heat. Nice cut downs. 
Not losing any speed through those transition maneuvers and really pushing just on, on the tail of the board as she comes out of this turn. 7-1-7, hold on, we'll come back to that. And Keely loading up, she's going to get out of this one as it reels off without her. Yeah, where I was going to go is, uh, you know, looking at the 717 and the couple of fives for Sage and the 833. I feel like the 833 could have been a nine to me. I feel like that that there's more of a spread in the in, in the surfing that was done on that wave by Silvana. I like can't even imagine how many times they've been stepped on. But um, yeah, the rocks are pretty crazy. So, um, but you just have to kind of send it, honestly. <laughs> we love that attitude. Also, coming to South Africa, how's your experience been? Oh my gosh. Um. This season, a few ven venues where finishing the ride is crucial, even if you're going to end up on the rocks. See there? Those first two turns were beautiful, and it went 3 7 3. It was ready to go all the way with one last turn. She would have got the 4 2 3 with a good finishing turn. Here's the other one. Putting herself out of reach of her rivals out there at the moment. 20 and a half minutes to go. Decent side set wave standing up on the outside. Sage has priority. And we'll look to consolidate second position, maybe even take the lead here. Nice whip off the top. Up into the pocket again, just two turns, but solid manoeuvres on that. Some smarter decisions with her priority and, and look to improve on that 5.5. Replay of Sage, first snap into the closeout one. Nice controlled finish, nice big open face. Here's Keeley behind. Well, this one's going to be quick. Keeley racing down the line, nice float to get started. The combos have been brilliant on the outside. Just hasn't been finishing off her ways with any kind of authority just yet, and it's held, held her back on the scale. Got to improve on that 5, 6, 7, and here's Keeley drives down the face. Look at this slip in front of her, and gives it some. Whips it at the back end, but I feel like the... But uh, it was really fast, that whip through the car, but Silvana's up again, using her priority here. Driving down the line, good-looking wall standing up. Climbs the roof for a moment. Has shown great variety in this heat already. Keely chasing her down the line here. Beautiful big uh, approach to the lip there, but just flicked the board out off the lip. 18 and a half minutes to go. Waiting on the numbers to come through for the previous exchange. Well, Sage on the outside. She's going to use this one. Couldn't pass it up, looking down the line. Nice turn in the pocket to get started. And she's going to climb the roof and finish this one off. So three turns. Didn't have that, that same commitment to the rail as she did on a previous ride, but the finish was pretty dynamic. The last couple of scores is the importance of the set waves as we see the replay. Snaps out of the top, kind of a little two-turn two stage turn, should I say, and into that floater. We spend so much time with our backs to that view, that landscape, and it's equally as beautiful. So much to see here on the Eastern Cape as Keely Andrew looks to, to get rid of a 5.93 and make life more difficult for Sage Erickson here. Has done some great surfing. If she can finish one of these waves off, she might be a shot at taking the lead here. She needs a 7.4 to do that. Rides this one right through to the inside, but again, opts out of that final maneuver. It is on the replay. Couple little pumps into a check snap. Another nice snap out of the top. See the timing on this one. It's, she's just had so much time to just go up and down, up and down. And again, as you said, Ronnie, not that intent on throwing herself onto the rocks on the inside there with the last move. Our competitors, there's another one behind it. Looks like there's another one behind that as well. The er stage pulls the trigger. Ericsson taking off, driving up to this first section. Makes the most of that. Now out on the open face. Nice carve. Looking for an 8.13. Yeah. Got to be her best number. Surfing well. Maintaining composure. Needs a big finish here on the inside. Drifts that tail. Hangs on to the finish. And she'll jump out of there. Let's watch this replay. Into that vertical re-entry. Comes around the corner. The wave stands up beautifully for her to do a wrapping carve. And then another snap and drifts the tail somewhat into another sort of more you know turn that just brought some time into that last one right there on the right. right on the inside still time on the clock just over two minutes to go is there more ways in this set there is and Silvana Lima she gets an opportunity to wow us once again hammering down the line so much speed steps back on the tail now goes that layback and the board just skips out of the face super close 
replay of Silvana. Watch how fast she goes through this section, using those arms, throwing those arms to, to release the board and accelerate and goes up for another one of those big wrapping layback calves. And then in the final stages, when you're chasing a big number, to keep your cool and put it together the way she did is super impressive. It's going to be hard to get to, to that height, the, the excellent ride. She didn't get the number she needed, but it was an impressive score. 7.07 .07 and a performance, despite the fact that she's falling out of the mix here in the elimination round, a performance she can be proud of. Yeah, she definitely started to, you know, show us what she's capable of. If Sage had done that surfing she did at the end, at the beginning, and gave herself more time to grow and build on that base, um, she could have easily have qualified with the surfing performance she's doing.